Soltz is the co-founder and chairman of VoteVets.org and joins me now. So as we look at this, because years ago, being a vet was seen as not just an asset by an American employer, but almost a prerequisite if you wanted to get advanced. What has changed in such a short period of time? Well, it's essentially the war. I mean, the best thing the Obama administration's done to employ veterans is to, to do the drawdown in Iraq and essentially end that conflict. Basically, what happened after Vietnam, we decided that we weren't going to draft people anymore. So unlike uh, in the prior wars where um, we, we drafted people, in this war, we used the National Guard and the Reserve. So right now we're on a cycle with our National Guard and Reservists where they go to war maybe once out of every four or five years. So for small businesses, it's essentially catastrophic. Yes, those jobs are protected under federal law, but right. a lot of employers just lay you off prior to when you're leaving or when you come home. Like I have a soldier who came home and he wasn't even sure, and this is last week, if his job was still going to be there. So when you're coming in and out of the military all the time, it's very complicated and it's much different. Most Guard and Reservists now are, are firefighters, policemen, federal employees, places where they, they have better protection in the, law, in the, in the labor uh, force. And John, why is there such this disconnect between management and private sector jobs and, and people with military experience, especially when it comes to hiring? Well, right now, no one's no one's serving. I mean, there's disconnects in, in certain capacities. I mean, the best thing that really the government's done is the, is the GI Bill, the new GI Bill, which essentially gives everyone a right to go to college. Because what you're doing is, as the economy changes and bends and moves, you're giving people uh, skills. But a lot of the the people that are coming back, look, yes, J P Morgan Chase is doing something the president asked them to do to hire veterans. So is Verizon. But we're talking about certain types of jobs, labor jobs. And so when you have programs out there like Helms to Hard Hats that lose their earmark from Congress, that essentially give the military, uh, the Department of Defense, the ability to educate their veterans when they leave active duty of how to become uh, a carpenter and get a job in that workforce, and you don't have federal funding for it, you know, hey, it's a problem. So there's a lot of, you know, little niches out there uh, for people that aren't going to go to college and for people that, you know, they don't have a job when they go home because the economy overall is, is poor. VoteVets.org Chairman John Soltz. John, great to see you this morning. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot.